welcome <laughs> teachers, administrators, family, friends, friends of family, family of friends, and my fellow graduating chiefs. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to say fellow graduating chiefs. <laughs> Let's just take a moment and think back to our last four years. What story would you tell me? Would you tell me about the time you left a mark that can never be removed? You set a school record. You beat your own personal record. Maybe the time that you had a cookout in the student parking lot. Or you beat a team that nobody said that you would beat, Cosby. <clears throat> <laughs> or when you got knocked down, but you didn't let that stop you, you got back up. You brushed that dirt off. And you proved someone you could when they said you could not. Or maybe the time you brought a fish to prom. Wait, no, sorry, that's what I was going to tell you. That's my best story. <laughs> He did. He did. On the way to making the story that you would tell me, I'm sure there are many things that have happened that you wish to never tell again, or many missed opportunities to make a story. Nevertheless, we have the rest of our entire life to make the story we want, the story that you want. And if things don't go your way at first, don't let your story end there, because you always have a choice to make the story end the way you want to. Let's say you didn't get into the college you always dreamed of. Don't let your story end there. Because I know not a single one of us wants to be sitting around our kitchen table in 5, 10, 20, or however many years, and be saying to our kids, our family, our loved ones, yeah, I didn't get into the school I wanted to, so I quit. No, that's not how our story ends. None of our stories will end like that. It's, yeah, I didn't get into the school I always dreamed of, so I took a year off. I went to Europe, I backpacked around, I hitchhiked, I had a blast. And I found out that I really liked architecture. And that's what inspired me, that's what motivated me to get into the college I always wanted to, to get the major that I always wanted to become an architect, to become a civil engineer. That's a better story, Chiefs, and that's the story that we will all have one day. Never forget that we hold the pen, we write the story that we want, but don't ever think we have to do it alone. Look around real quick. Look at the teachers on either side of you. Really, look, look, come on. They've always been there for us for the last four years. They've always believed in us for the last four years. If you don't believe me, I'll prove it to you. Think to all of the late work you've ever turned in. I'm not talking to you, Daniel. But think of all the late work you've ever turned in. That's great. And they accepted it. And they didn't accept that because they love grading, because they became a teacher, because they wanted to grade papers all day, because they didn't want to watch that Sunday night football game. <laughs> they accepted it because they believed in you. Because yeah, maybe you were lazy, maybe you didn't feel like doing that assignment that night, or you had personal issues going on. But they knew you were smart. They knew that you could do it, you had potential, they believed in you. Now look around again, look at the parents, our family, everyone here for you. Come on, look. <laughs> They're here because they love you. They're here because you asked them to be here. Because nothing was more important today than being here for you. I mean, think about it, they could have taken today off. They could have gone to the beach. They could have gone seen a movie for Matinee Price right now. And they could have gone, I don't know, gone to Denny's and had unlimited pancakes and just be sitting there right now full. But they're here for you. And if you ever reach the point in your life where you don't know if your story's gonna end up how you want, don't be afraid to turn to them. Don't be afraid to say, I need you. 
because I'm afraid, because they'll be there for you, because they love you. And all they'll ever want in return is a hug and probably an I love you too. Monacan Chiefs, class of 2014, the class that left their mark, the class that left their mark on Monacan High School, from the columns to the teachers to the administrators to me, to all their fellow Chiefs. It's not just what will your story be, but how will your story be written? Thank you for the, giving me the best story that I could have ever written, that anyone could have ever written. It was a great one. This is it. It's time to turn the page, leave our mark somewhere else, and we are ready. I love you guys and I'll always mean it.